Hi, thanks for following the Buy Size Beginner's Guide to the HP Reverb D2. In today's video number seven, we're going to be talking about how to set up the microphone. By the way, big welcome to VI Essentials. If it's your first time to the platform, very nice to meet you. We talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and educational VR entertainment. And a big welcome back, of course, to all our regular subscribers. Always awesome to have you with us. The Buy Size Beginner's Guide to the HP Reverb D2 is a series of videos meant for you if you just received your HP Reverb D2 and get you all set up. In the previous video, we spoke about how to set up the audio, but as today's title suggests we're here to talk about how the microphone works and to set it up all properly so let's go Okay, so first of all, go back to the sound settings page. So go to the input setting and make sure, first of all, that the driver that's selected is the Realtek USB 2.0. Now below that, you should see a microphone icon with a blue bar. Now, if you speak towards your VR headset, you should notice some activity on the blue bar, basically telling you that it's working. If it's not working, you could click on the troubleshooting or contact HP customer service directly. Now, what you need to know is that the microphone level by default is set too high to the point that it might actually make other users uncomfortable when you're talking to them in VR. Now, after doing testing in various different VR applications, it seems that the value of one is true, which means at the moment that you put it on volume one, everyone's gonna hear you pretty clearly. Let me show you what I mean. First, let me play a test at volume 40. This is a test of the HP G2's microphone at volume 40. And then now let me play the same test at volume 1. This is a test of the HP Reverb G2's microphone at volume 1. Now the volume level may change depending on the VR application that you'll be using and also future software updates. All right, so this is very exciting because we both have the audio and the microphone all nicely set up. So now let's both meet in the next video where I'll show you how to navigate around the Mixed Reality Home as well as optimize all the graphics display for the best performance and also how to launch your first VR experience. Let's go.